Welcome back. Americans spend $3.2 billion on candles each year. And during the holidays, scented candles are one of the most popular decorations. Yes, yeah, so that means December is a peak time for candle fires, but there's something you may not know about candles. Susan Copen joins us now with this consumer alert. Yeah, hey guys, I want everyone to uh, take a look at this screen behind me. We created this explosion of fire using candles that you can buy at any store and a cup of water. Water and wax do not mix. We're telling this story because of what recently happened to a CBS anchor woman. These are the burned hands and burned Kathleen Whitty. Good afternoon. Thanks for tuning in for First News at 4. This anchor woman in Texas is always telling other people's stories. Now she has her own to tell. Several weeks ago, wax inside a candle jar in her kitchen caught fire. She grabbed a cup of water. And without even thinking about it, I just poured it onto the flames. Never thinking about it. Water puts out fire, right? Uh, not this one. This is what can happen when water hits hot burning wax. In Witty's case, she was hit with a wall of flames which caught her on fire. You saw the pictures of her face, her hands. This is a picture of her hip, all blistered and raw. So my hip is where the, the shorts were on fire and where, and where they, they melted. She used stop, drop and roll to save herself. You just, you just... These videos from YouTube show different scenarios of water on burning wax. <laughs> the flames go out and up, some of them shooting more than six feet in the air. The wax that is being puddled in that candle is, a, is the fuel. You've got the flame, you've got the fuel, the application of the water just allows it to be spread. With the help of firefighters at the Allegheny County Fire Academy, we wanted to do our own test. We took ordinary tea lights and melted them in a container to simulate burning wax in a candle jar. One small cup of water and boom. The flash of flames filled the entire corner of this room. Burning wax is just like a grease fire on the stove in the kitchen. You should never use water on either. You're going to spread that fire and it's going to splash on you and anything else around you that's going to burn. The best way to put out a candle, blow it out or put a lid on it. If you can take away the oxygen, the flame will go out. That's the safest way to do that. So take the lid to the candle, place it on top, oxygen gone. Flame goes away. And some other things to keep in mind. These are from the National Candle Association. Never leave a burning candle unattended. Don't burn a candle all the way down. Leave a couple of inches of wax. Never try to move a candle when it's burning. And don't try to move a container candle if it still has melted wax inside. On average, there are 25 home candle fires reported each day. Who knew? That was really helpful yeah. to see yes. how damaging it can be. So this is absolutely prime time. This is prime time. The three top days for there to be a candle fire in your home. Christmas, New Year's Eve, and New Year's Day. And I've been covering fires for more than 20 years. And this is something I did not know mm -hmm. about yeah. candle wax and flames and water. They do not mix. I'm with you, Susan. We Great know now. report. All Thanks. right. Thanks, guys. Thanks so much.